Hello, good morning, my dear students. Today I am here to take your geography class of nine. The first chapter we are going to discuss as far the ICC syllabus, the Earth as a planet. Like all other planets. Earth itself a planet, but in the earlier days, it was believed that Earth is situated in the middle of the universe, and all other heavenly bodies revolving around it. But today, it is an accepted fact that Earth is one of the planets which also revolve around the sun like all other heavenly bodies the earth is the unique planet why is earth a unique planet because this is the only planet where life exists here life exists why here life exists because of the favorable conditions that support to sustain life on the earth to so no doubt the earth is one of the important planet which is the home of the mankind and it is a member of the solar system what is solar system the family of the sun who are the members of the family of the sun of course the sun itself other than sun or stars the planets the satellites the asteroids the comets the meteors and the meteorites all these are heavenly bodies what we see in the universe the today we are going to discuss about the shape of the earth what is the shape of the earth what was the ancient belief about the shape of the earth earlier it was believed earth shape is flat is flat this what do you mean by this term flat disk it means that if a person begins to walking towards the edge he or she might be fallen since earth is a flat there is the end so naturally if we approach or move towards the end the we may fall down it was the earlier concept it was the earlier belief the shape of the earth is flat but in modern days in the modern days what is the shape of the earth earth is not flat earth is spherical earth is spherical spherical in shape spherical in shape it is all nowadays accepted earth is not flat earth is round earth is circular earth is spherical so right from the beginning there is huge controversy about the shape of the earth pythagoras one of the ancient scientists the mathematicians the astronomers first claim that earth is not flat earth is round but people did not believe him why because people wanted evidence people people want evidence behind his claim that earth is not flat it is a round in shape later many other astronomers and mathematicians 
like one of the Indian astronomers and the mathematicians Aryabhatta, who also proved that Earth is round in shape. Not only are round in shape, but also rotate on its own axis. Later, John Kepler, Copernicus, Galileo, all support the view of the Aryabhata and all prove that the earth is not flat, earth is spherical in shape, not only is rotating its own axis but also revolving around the sun. Later, it is also proved that the earth not only is spherical but the earth is bulging at the equator and flattened at the poles. Earth is flattened at the pole and bulging at the equator. Why? Because of the rotation. The rotation which creates a force. What we call the centrifugal force. Because of this, Earth flattened at the poles and bulging at the equators. So no doubt, nowadays it is well accepted that Earth is spherical in shape. Not only spherical, it is flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. Later, nowadays, we using the term, instead of spherical, we using the term oblate spheroid. Oblate spheroid. Oblate spheroid. Oblate spheroid, which means flattened the poles and bulging at the equator. We also use the term. Now we compare the shape of the earth with this term, geode. With this term, geode, which means earth shape. Which means earth shape. So right from the beginning, there is a huge controversy. And gradually, after observation of the, all the experiments and invention, we come to the conclusion, lastly, the shape of the earth is spherical shape. It is, it is oblate spheroid, which means earth is bulging at the equator and flattened at the poles. Behind this, so what are the proofs behind that tell us the earth is spherical in shape? Now one by one, we are going to discuss all the proofs or all the evidence which prove that earth is spherical in shape. One of the most important proof, earth as a spherical in shape, number one, sun sets, sun sets and rises. Every day, sun rises in the east and sets in the west. But it is true that every day, sun do not rise from the same place and do not set in the same position. Gradually, the positions of rising sun and position of the sets, the sun in the west, going to change. So this is changing because of what? Are rotating from west to east. So that is why earth is spherical in shape. So the if earth is the flat, the sun, every day sun rising in the from the east from the same position and sets in the west from the same points or the same position. Since earth changing its position in the east and of the west every day or gradually, which proves that earth is spherical in shape. Other important proof that is the circular horizon. Circular, circular horizon, circular, circular horizon, circular horizon, which is curved at the edge, which is curved 
at the edge and this circular horizon becomes widen if we go to higher altitude if we move from one point to at the upper point or from one low altitude to higher altitude you will see the horizons is become widen if the earth is flat naturally it would have been not change the circular horizon remain unchanged or the same if the earth is flat look at the diagram if it is this point and if we get this horizon if we move from this point x to point y and if i draw the horizon will be larger the horizon will be larger or the widens when i move from point x to point y in the higher altitude the circular horizon becomes more widen the if the earth is flat it would not have widens than the earlier horizon so this also prove that earth is spherical in shape third important proofs or evidence behind the earth is spherical in shape it is the lunar eclipse lunar lunar eclipse lunar eclipse what is lunar eclipse when the shadow of the earth falls on the moon the shadow of the earth falls on the moon looks like a circular and all other heavenly bodies like sun and moon also circular the so since earth is a heavenly bodies there is no doubt earth is also circular in nature this is another proof the lunar eclipse fourth important proof that is sighting of a ship sighting of a ship if you are standing near the shore of the sea and if you look at a approaching ship coming towards you and you are standing at the shore you cannot see the entire ship at the same time first you can see the mast of the ship then you will see the hull of the ship that is middle portion gradually while it coming near to you then you will see the entire body the entire body of the entire body of the ship if the earth is flattened if the earth is flat then we can see the whole body of the ship at the same time but since earth is curvature in nature since the earth is curvature in nature we cannot see the we cannot see the entire ship at the same time so first we will see the mass then the middle portion then the whole body of the ships so this is one of the, one of the very very important proofs behind the logic that earth as a spherical in shape fourth fifth the bed fall level experiment bed fall level experiment bed fall level experiment what is bed fall level experiment bedford level canal bedford level canal where a three poles three poles equal in length equal in length 
एट इक्वल इंटरवेल प्लेस एट द वाटर ऑफ द कैनल्स ऑल थ्री फोर्स एट द इंटरवेल ऑफ फाइव किलोमीटर इंटरवेल ऑफ फाइव किलोमीटर प्लेस एट द वाटर लेवल ऑल आर इक्वल इन लेंथ व्हेन वी सी व्हेन समवन सी फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ द कैनल दिस थ्री फोर्स he looks that the middle pole slightly higher than the other two poles if the earth flat then all three poles should be remain at the same height at the same level but since the earth is curvature the middle pole looks slightly higher than the other poles like that like that it looks slightly higher than this other two poles why because the earth is curvature in nature earth is spherical in shape so these two especially the bed fall away experiment and sighting of a ship very very important evidences that prove that that prove earth is spherical in shape other important proof it is a pole star the pole the pole star pole star if we look at the pole star vertically from the equator it creates angle of 90 degree it creates angle of 90 degree it creates angle of 90 degree 90 degree creates angle of 90 degree now if you move from north pole to towards the lower latitude middle or the or at the equator at the equator the angle visibility of angle going to decrease from 90 degree to 45 degree from 45 degree to 15 degree then at the equator it is 0 degree if the earth is flat then the visibility of angle remains same it could not have change but it is changing gradually the visibility of the angle going to decrease from 90 degree to 67 degree to 45 degree then gradually zero degree why this happening because of earth is curvature in nature because earth is spherical in shape this is called for proof of the pole stars besides the pole star there is another important evidence Hardina by Hardinath Magellan one of the great voyager of the world and along with one of the Spain Spanish voyager they voyage around the world this is called circum navigation this is called circum navigation this is called circum navigation so what is the meaning of the word circum navigation circum navigation means voyage around the world voyage around the world around the world around the world since the earth is circular in nature since the earth is circular in nature they start suppose they start their journey from here gradually they reach here then here then here then ultimately again reach to the same position from where they start their journey if the earth is like a flattened if the earth is flat then naturally if they start their journey from here if they start their journey from here they will continue to move towards that towards the edge they never come back to that to this place again but since the earth is curvature nature since the earth is circular naturally they again return to the same position to the same place from where they start their journey it is very very important proof that earth is spherical in shape beside this now we are modern days we have taken the giant steps to send the people to the moon and we are sending the satellites and that satellite sending the pictures of heavenly bodies and all the satellite pictures when fed into the computer their shapes looks like a circular or the round later it was confirmed by french scientists 
glamre so all these heavenly bodies are circular in nature all such as pictures are correct it is confirmed by the french scientists which prove that art is spherical in shape art is spherical in shape so there are many evidences there are many proofs all these proofs tell us regarding the shape of the art that art is spherical in shape next important topic we are going to discuss now earth as a unique planet earth as a unique planet just at the beginning i told you so unique planet earth is unique planet because here life exists so what conditions favor the life on the earth there is no other planets except the earth where you can see the life there in this sense earth is a unique planet so what are the conditions available to the earth that supports life number 1 of course the presence of water the presence of the presence of water two third of the earth surface covered by the water bodies sea ocean rivers lakes two third that's why earth is called blue planet or the watery planets and earth is very important for the existence of life without water life cannot exist what is very very essential for the existence of the life there is so presence of water supports life second important conditions atmosphere 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 the blanket of air surround us is called the atmosphere there are many life giving gases present in the atmosphere like oxygen like carbon dioxide like nitrogen like hydrogen helium argon neon methane krypton many more there are abundant gases two oxygen and the nitrogen nitrogen 78% oxygen 21% the rest 1% other gases so without oxygen we cannot live without nitrogen plants could not survive without carbon dioxide we do not live especially the plants why because they absorb the carbon dioxide released by the human beings or the animals and through the photosynthesis they make their own food at the foods plants what they produce we consume that naturally plants are what plants are producers and we the human beings the animals are the consumers so without photosynthesis without nitrogen plants could produce nothing so the presence of atmosphere another important conditions that support life on the earth surface third important thing third important condition optimum temperature optimum temperature optimum temperature earth if you look at the planets as according to the distance the position of the is earth is third mercury venus earth mars then jupiter so earth is neither too hot neither too cold the average temperature of the earth only 70 degree centigrade 70 degree or 15 degree centigrade which allow us to live here all other planets either too hot or too cold life could not exist there so here is the life because of suitable favorable temperature the atmosphere keeps the earth warm at night i do not allow the harmful rays of the sun to reach on the earth earth surface because of the presence of the ozonosphere the very very important thing for which the life 
exist here. Other important condition that support life, it was lithos presence of lithos fear. Presence of lithos fear. That means rocks shielded the earth surface which protect us. Rocky structures. And from the rocks, the baking of rocks, soil is formed. And soil support the all types of crops, all types of plants that produce food for us. After eating foods produced by the plants, we get our energy. So soil provides plants, supports the plants. Without soil, nothing can be produced. The soil is there. Rocky structure is there. It also supports our, it also supports our life on the earth surface. So these are the fuel conditions. Besides this lithosphere, there is also atmosphere, lithosphere, another one thing is the hydrosphere. Besides hydrosphere, atmosphere, and lithosphere, there is one narrow zone of contact, what is called the biosphere. What is called the biosphere? Biosphere is the narrow zone of contact where life exists. Biosphere is the narrow zone of contact where life exists. Narrow zone of contact means contact between land, water, and the atmosphere. So this is a very important part, biosphere. In the biosphere, there are two important kingdoms, the plant kingdoms and the animal kingdoms. Terrestrial life and the marine life we can see on the earth surface. So because of all these conditions that support the life, number one, the presence of the water bodies, second, the atmosphere, composition of the atmosphere, third, the optimum temperature or optimum distance, fourth, the lithosphere or the rocky structure, fifth, the biosphere. Just now I told you, not only optimum temperature, earth is the is situated in the optimum distance. The distance from the sun and earth in average 1.5 million kilometer. 150 million kilometer. So neither too far nor too close. Naturally, naturally it enjoy the optimum and favorable conditions. So today I completed these two topic. Almost you complete these chapters. There are two important things that they are the life giving cycles the oxygen cycle, nutrition cycle, and carbon dioxide cycle all support life on the earth surface. So we come to the end, the first chapter of geography as far or according your ICC syllabus. This much, what I taught, this much is in the syllabus. So I completed today first chapter. Thank you to all of you.